Welcome back to the fitness special of The Lounge Show. Chef Manish has already showed us some low-calorie adaptations of popular recipes, including canoa salad and paneer makhni. He's now going to show us a low-calorie version of kulfi. Tell us how you're going to do that. Um, usually kulfi is made with uh, uh, milk and reduced milk and rabdi and all. Here you are, we are going to make pomegranate kulfi. This is a pomegranate juice, some lemon, some churan. This is an Indian digestive and some honey or maple syrup. Why don't you make this one? Perfect. So I'll, this is a pomegranate juice. So it requires no milk, no cream, no, no cream, sugar? No nothing, nothing, nothing. It's more like a sorbet or a frappe, you can say. It's very good for summer, okay. very healthy. I'll squeeze some lemon juice. I need to mix it. A little bit of churan. I'm adding anardana churan, but uh, you can add any, any churan if you want to. But it should not be very harsh or very strong in flavor. Honey or maple syrup, you can use it. But the thing is, uh, it depends on how sweet is your pomegranate juice. If it is really sweet, you can skip honey and maple syrup also. I'm going to... These are molds. You can get these molds anywhere. You can get uh, ice lolly pop molds or anything. You just have to fill it a little bit. These molds. Just close these and you have to freeze it. You can put it for like uh, 24 hours. But the thing is, after 6 hours, every 6 hours, just take it out, open it mix it a little bit so that it will be reduced ice crystals. So I have some freeze one ready. It's very good, delicious. And no cream, no sugar. Are there some common ingredients you can use to substitute some of these things uh, to, to make your meals low, lower calorie? Absolutely. Like, start, like what? First thing, start using jaggery instead of uh, refined sugar. Refined sugar is not at all good for health. So first, start using jaggery in all your desserts. Then uh, start using a little bit of soya milk in uh, your diet so that you are reducing the uh, level of milk in your, in your diet. Thank you, Chef Manish, for sharing Thank that with us. Much. Now you can enjoy a delicious meal like this one while cutting calorie count. But there's another way to stay fit and have fun right from your own home. Motion sensor games based on fitness allow you to turn your living room into a gym while claiming to help you shed a few kilos at the same time. But do these new age video games really work? Let's find out. Press a button and step into the virtual world of fitness gaming. Motion sensor gaming consoles are changing how and where you work out. You can stretch those muscles, do some cardio boxing or try your hands at an oriental martial art, all in the comfort of your home or even your office. A lot of time people who, uh, who would probably not go to the gym, do not go to the gym purely because of the inertia. Who would get up, change, go to the gym, you know, and might get boring and some actually get bored in the gym and come back, right? Uh, the idea is to make it more fun and exciting, and that's what it does. These gaming consoles are becoming popular across most age groups. They're an easy and fun way of indulging in a physical activity. All the users have a variety of fitness and sporting related games to choose from. Most of them will only offer you a low energy workout. These games are mainly meant for people who want to have a little bit of physical activity in their lives. They want to have a little bit of physical activity. They want to be able to spend some time, a few minutes a day, maybe 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, uh, performing basic exercises. These are not high energy workouts. Developers though are improvising with these games. Now you have features such as planned workout regimes, variety of exercise modes and a personal trainer to guide and keep your company. These trainers may have some useful words of advice, but do remember that this is pre-programmed information. These are video games at the end of the day, you have to realize that. So the accuracy in which these person, so-called personal trainers are telling you things, again, can't be gauged. It's artificial intelligence. It's, it's something which is being programmed. So how much can you believe in a program. So if you're looking to shed those extra kilos or hoping to get a six-pack app that you've always wanted, we say enroll yourself to the closest gym.
Well, we've almost come to the end of our fitness special, but be sure to pick up a copy of this week's lounge where you get fitness-related pieces on health and food, and there's also an interesting photo feature on men's sportswear. We're going to leave you with a behind-the-scenes look at this photo shoot. Thanks for watching, and stay fit. The idea was very simple, you know, we basically wanted to pick up four sports or five sports, four sports that we think men tend, tend to sort of, you know, play a lot. And then sort of in each of that we wanted to do a, a non-classic look but also a look that was sort of hip. We've done a shorts look and we've done a trouser look in golf. We've done a cap and a hat look. So there are a lot of different ways that you can dress up for golf. So in, in the golf look, we've just tried to show the variety in terms of like both the boys, they dress like absolutely different from each other. Tennis, of course, it all, is all white. Sometimes it's just appalling to see men in, uh, in tennis coats wearing like a bright red t-shirt and, uh, and stuff. It looks nice, whites are great, and that's how we've tried to show. The soccer shot and the, uh, and the tennis shot would definitely um, stand out. The soccer shot being in, lock, in the locker room where, uh, where the um, the athlete, uh, our model, he's he's sitting in the locker area and he's just uh, supposed to be, we've shot him in a way that he's come back from a game and he's uh, just having a relaxed time, maybe he's just wiping off the sweat and having some soda from his bottle. We wanted to sort of show them that there is, an, there is basically a, a lot of variety available and you don't have to stick to you know, the three or four brands that you always hear about. And there's much, much more, you know, you just have to go looking for it and you'll find lots of things.